Good morning guys and welcome back to another vlog. Happy Tuesday. I thought it would be fun to do a day in my life today. I feel like I do a lot of week in my life, a lot of weekend in my life, but I don't, I've never done like, I don't think I have at least, like an in-depth day in my life, like walking me through what I do every day, kind of like what my day-to-day -day job responsibilities are, kind of what I do in the evening. This does change a lot. I wouldn't say I'm on like a typical routine, but I thought it'd be fun to vlog. So it's Tuesday morning and I have been trying to start my days on my walking pad every day if I can. Um, I didn't film this before because honestly I was tired, but I have been trying to wake up anywhere between 6.30 and 7 a.m. just to like give myself, myself time to have like a slow morning. We're still in the midst of like training with Poppy, so I do try and take her for a longer walk in the morning to work on some of the training cues we've been working on. And so then once I'm done with that, that's usually like 20 minutes. Then I come back in, take care of her for the morning, feed her, give her water, give her her treats. Sometimes we'll go through some indoor training exercises and then I myself will eat breakfast. Usually I'll try and eat breakfast around 7.30, 7.45. And then I usually will like watch some kind of YouTube or like show while I'm eating breakfast just to kind of like do something for me in the morning. That's just what I like to do. This isn't every morning. This is just like what I've been doing lately. Honestly, it changes all the time, especially on the season. Um, when it's like cooler outside, I feel like I like to do more stuff outside. Like I might try and work out in the morning outside or something, but this is what we're doing now. Anyways, breakfast, some kind of show. And then after that is when I like actually get ready for the day. So then I'll go and like wash my face, do my skincare, do whatever I want to do there. And then I'll put on my sneakers and we hop on our walking pad. I've been trying to walk or I've been trying to get my 10,000 steps like in one sitting in the morning. And that usually works for me because mornings are typically my like focus in, heads down kind of time because most of my team works Pacific uh, time hours and I'm on central time zone. So I usually have a good two, two and a half hours of just like quiet time before anybody logs on. So it's nice, I get to walk, I get to do my work, I get to get some stuff done before anybody logs on for the day, which is really nice. So now that brings us to present, I'm on my walking pad. Um, today is a little different than most days at work. It's that time of the month where I have to write a monthly report for my line of business. Um, I don't talk too, too much about like my actual job, just like, I'm honestly like not sure like what I can share and what I can't like without giving it away, but I've said this a few times, I work in digital customer analytics. So I, um, there's like a whole team of people and we all represent different lines of business. Somebody represents like the retail side, somebody represents like customer service, I represent digital. So I am interacting with data that is captured when customers interact with our site or they interact with the app for the company I work for or anything like an order fulfillment from an online order. Anything like that is kind of like my wheelhouse. So I do different analytics and our team writes a report every month just kind of highlighting like what went well, what didn't go well, what we need to focus on, if we're seeing any trends. Um, and we send that out to our internal stakeholders. So we do this once a month and it's I don't mind it, but it's just like, it takes a lot of time. So I usually block out honestly, like half of a day to do all of this. Um, so like the first part of the day is just like doing data pools. I do weekly pools. So I like kind of have an idea of what's going on, but I'd like to look at like the full month just to make sure I'm not missing anything. And there's not like some subtle trend that I didn't see week over week, but I might see month over month. So that is what I'm going to do now. This is probably gonna take me a good like two or three hours. So that's basically gonna take up our entire morning. Okay, it is almost noon. I finished my report. I walked like four miles and then I sat down and finished it. I have a meeting I need to listen 
in on at noon so i'm gonna make my lunch so i can eat it while i listen to that this meeting is like another team demoing some stuff that is going to be coming out soon i don't always attend this meeting but like if i have time i will because it's usually good for me to listen on and like see what's coming that way like if i see any of it in my data like i can give it back to them so i'm gonna try and listen in on that today I feel like my lunches change all the time. It's really whatever I'm in the mood for, but I always go back to snack plates. So that's what we're making today. Today's snack plate is some turkey. I get the mesquite turkey from the deli counter. Some Gouda cheese, some baked ruffles. And usually I would eat like an apple or a cutie or something with this, but all my cuties are bad. So I've got no fruit today. So I'm just gonna like double up on the turkey or something to make sure I have everything I wanna eat. One thing about me too is I love having a fun drink at lunch. So today's fun drink of choice is the Spindrift Lemon. Usually I'll just go for some kind of like flavored water or seltzer. I'm pretty picky about what drinks I drink just cause a lot of them seem to mess up my stomach. You guys have heard me talk about like Poppy and Olipop really make me bloat. Anything that has like a sugar substitute in it, I've learned is just like not for me. If you wanna drink them, that's great, but they just like, it's not worth it to me to drink it because it messes up my stomach so much. So we're drinking Spindrift today. It is a little bit later now. It's almost two. I had my lunch and then after that meeting I listened to, I had two little quick check-in calls and I got back on my walking pad for those. Um, one of those calls was my team like launched something almost two weeks ago now and we've been doing like every couple of days we do a check-in call just to like go over the responses and stuff and make sure everything is still looking good and then um my second check-in call was just from we had like a few asks in stand up today so i mean i was just like syncing with somebody to work on those also, I realized earlier, not everybody is in like the corporate world. So I feel like I'm throwing around some terms that might not make sense. Um, and one of those is stand up. So stand up refers to, um, every company does it differently, but it's basically like a quick meeting just to get like a pulse for the week. So my team does it on Tuesday mornings and like each person in their area of our like bigger org just like gives an update on like what last week looked like, what's coming up, any any like special announcements. Um, and so like my team gives an update on like what we do and any trends we saw. And sometimes there's like questions that come out of that that we have to address like outside the stand up. So we had a couple asked today. So I met with somebody just to like talk about how we're gonna divvy those up. Um, so that was that meeting. I have got, let's see, it's two o'clock now. I just have one more meeting today at three and it's a one-on-one -on -one with my manager. And I actually have a lot I wanna to talk to him about. He was on PTO last week, um, but I just feel like this is a really busy, busy week. Um, like our monthly report is going out this week. I have a couple of questions for him on that. I have a couple of questions from him on like this routine email I send out to the stakeholders. There's a bug in one of the, um, environments that I report on so we need to talk about that and also I am due to give a two-week update next week to some people and I want to make sure that we're on the same page on what I'm updating them about so I've got about an hour until that meeting what I'm going to do now is prep some templates and stuff for a weekly email I send out to some stakeholders and just make sure everything looks there and I've got to like append some stuff to make sure like everything is in one spreadsheet but i'm gonna work on that and then i will have my manager one-on-one -on -one. and then we'll be done for the day well i still need to wrap up a couple things but i think we're on track for me to wrap up like at 4 30 ish so yay it is almost three o'clock and i am dragging i feel like this happens almost every day for me like anytime between two and three i just get like ugh today is especially rough because i'm like how am i supposed to go to pilates class tonight if i feel like this now i'm trying to decide if i'm gonna open a celsius or not i feel like it's too late like it's three o'clock but also like i think i need it <laughs> i don't know <laughs> 
I am just like struggling to stay on task and stay focused. I really just want to go take a nap. <laughs> but I have a meeting in a couple of minutes and then I have to cook dinner. Oh my God, I'm so sorry. And then I have to cook dinner. And I booked just set myself a hot Pilates class tonight at 6.30. So like we have to go to that. Um, so I guess that means I need to drink a Celsius, doesn't it? It's like five o'clock on the dot and I'm eating dinner. I know it's a little early, but I have Pilates at 6.30 and I like to eat early on the days I have Pilates just to give myself time to digest because I don't want to wait until like eight o'clock at night to eat dinner. Probably doesn't look that good, but what it is is the shawarma chicken thighs from Trader Joe's, a bag of, it's like a frozen quinoa veggie mix thing that you can just like steam in the microwave and then some tzatziki sauce on top. Super lazy meal, but it's super filling. I just like whipped this up really quickly and I'm always weird about cooking meat, but I had the chicken thighs frozen in the freezer and I took them out last night to thaw and they've been thawing all day and they were still like a teeny tiny bit frozen when I put them in the oven. So I like cooked them extra and I don't know why, but I'm just like still paranoid. They're not cooked enough, even though like the color looks good and everything. I can't find my meat thermometer, so I can't like check the temperature, but I'm gonna eat this and y'all just pray for me that I don't get food poisoning. <laughs> Sorry if you can hear my AC, but I feel like I'm going crazy. Um, I cannot tell if I actually don't feel well or if I've like gaslit myself into not feeling well. Um, I feel like maybe I've gaslit myself but I don't know. I'm just like sitting here waiting to get sick which I know sounds insane and you're right it is but like it's been like 20 minutes since I ate and I'm like am I feeling bad or am I just like psyched myself out to feel bad but I don't know, I canceled my Pilates class for tonight. If I feel better in like an hour, I'll go. But I feel like I'm just sitting here waiting <laughs> to get sick. But I don't even know if I'm going to. Like, I feel like I cooked it enough. Like, I cook a lot. So like, I don't know why I've just psyched myself out. I usually like don't cook like thawed stuff. Like if I'm gonna cook meat, it's usually just like in the fridge. Like I don't take it out of the freezer and put it in the fridge, but that's what I did with the shawarma. So I don't know. I don't know if I'm actually sick or not. And I Spoiler alert, I did not make it to Pilates. <laughs> I cannot tell if I don't feel well because the chicken was not cooked or I have like in my head worked myself up into an IBS flare up, but either way, your girl, she doesn't feel good. <laughs> and I just could not go to hot Pilates feeling like this. Um, so I've just been chilling on the couch, just trying to rest. I have made a few trips to the bathroom, might be TMI, but um, I'm not okay. <laughs> So I was not gonna go to a hot Pilates class, but I'm feeling like, I think the worst has passed me, so I really wanna take a shower. And I'm trying to decide. I have not washed my hair since Friday. Okay. I was going to wash it tonight because I was going to hot Pilates, right? But I was going to be all sweaty. But now that I didn't work out, I'm probably going to run tomorrow morning. So if I run tomorrow morning, does it make sense to wash my hair tonight? I won't get like super sweaty tomorrow. I think I'm just going to run like a mile and a half, maybe two miles tomorrow morning. Because I might be playing tennis tomorrow night. So I don't want to do like anything too crazy. But I'm like... Is it worth washing tonight? It might get like a little frizzy tomorrow and I would have to refresh it probably after I run. It's kind of gross. Like my hair, it, my hair definitely needs to be washed, but 
I think I might just wait till tomorrow to wash it. We are starting to settle in for the night. Just doing some skincare. I feel like you guys know by now, but every night, Versed Gentle Retinol. Versed is literally my favorite skincare brand. I would say, honestly, probably 70% of my skincare is Versed. Um, I just, I love their products. I feel like they're pretty affordable and it's just like good quality. So I always start with retinol. Also, I have been like using this every other night, but I think I've showed this before. I bought it in Utah, but I got the Glow Recipe Toner. I am disappointed or I'm sad to say that this stuff works so well and i'm sad to say it because it is kind of expensive i think like this tiny bottle was like 20 dollars or something granted i have had it for like a month ish and i haven't used like that much so take that for what it's worth but i only use this every other night because i've heard it's pretty strong so i've kind of been like training my skin to get used to it every night so i've been doing it at night because honestly like i just have so much that i use during the day so usually i would put this on before my retinol but i used it last night so i'm not going to use it tonight let my retinol dry and then i'm just going to seal it with my favorite moisturizer i like exclusively use this moisturizer in the summer day or night if it's in the winter i usually at night would use like a heavier moisturizer but since it's the summer i just use this light gel moisturizer and that's kind of it for the nighttime skincare i like to keep it pretty simple at nighttime just because i have found i can be so regimented with my morning skincare routine but something about my nighttime skincare routine if there's too many steps i just like don't want to do any of it so i've tried to like simplify the nighttime skincare so i will actually do it <laughs> i always try and do at least some like quick cleanup of the kitchen because no matter what you do, I feel like your kitchen is always dirty. So I just like to go, I like to go to bed with like a clear headspace that like my kitchen is clean. But before I clean up my kitchen, I am back on my overnight, my overnight oats game. So I'm just going to prep that. I don't prep, I used to prep like four of these on Sunday nights. And I've just learned, I cannot prep like a meal for four days because because I am so picky that what was great one day might not be what I want the next. So I've just started to try and like do it just the night before. And like I know I'm going to want overnight oats tomorrow. So I'm just going to make them real quick. I just do a third of a cup of oats. And these are just some oats I got from Thrive Market. These have lasted me such a long time. And then I do a tablespoon of chia seeds. I just kind of eyeball it because I'm too lazy to get a tablespoon. I do some cinnamon. Measure this however much you want. I like a lot of cinnamon. Then the last piece of overnight oats is I put whatever like core power shake I have on hand and I just like cover it till everything is full of liquid. Cap on. Give it a little swoosh so the chia seeds don't stick together. There is nothing grosser to me than like a cluster of chia seeds. I know some people like chia seed pudding. I cannot do that. It has got to be like mixed up in there. I need to know that they are not there. You know what I mean? As sometimes I haven't like mixed it enough and it's just been like these little clusters of the seeds and it's just, it's not, not it. I feel like I am yelling over my AC again, but I just wanted to show you guys my cute little pajamas. They're new. It's got this cute little embroidery on the pocket and on the waistband of the shorts. These are literally my new favorite pajamas. I love them so much. I wish they came in more colors. The top is a bit... I don't think the top is proportionate to the shorts, honestly, but like I'm not mad about it. I love oversized pajamas, but I got these pajamas from White Fox. Um, I will link them down below if they're still on the site. It's part of the 
Sarah's Day White Fox collection that they did. Um, and I bought this pajama set because I don't know if you guys remember, it was quite a few vlogs ago, probably like two months ago. I bought some stuff from White Phlox and um, the pair of pants and shorts I got like didn't work out so I returned them and I didn't realize when you return you can only get store credit, it's like not a refund. So I went shopping and not a lot of on the site excited me but these pajamas I was like oh my gosh these are so cute I have to get them so I got them and I'm so happy I did For reference I'm wearing an extra large um I probably could have done a large but like they're pajamas so I don't really care but they're like my new favorite summer pajamas I just feel so cute in them and they're also like super light um I slept in these last night and did not get overheated at all which is like big in the summer for me to sleep in long sleeves that's crazy but the fact that i slept in them last night and didn't get overheated very i just i love them still screaming over my ac it is just that hot in memphis right now but i have wound down for the night i'm in bed i've got sex in the city on got my pile of pillows to prop me up otherwise i will throw up um you're an IBS or an acid reflux girly you know but I think I'm gonna end off the vlog here I rarely do a daily vlog so I hope you guys found this like entertaining I had fun filming it um, I think I'm going to try and at least get this footage to my iPad tonight so it'll be ready to edit I probably do not have the mind capacity to like edit it right now I usually try and edit at night um oh the AC turned off finally um hey Poppy Poppy is so funny she can like tell when I'm not feeling well and then she she like is usually glued to me but yeah she's she's doing it right now she'll just like lay she'll just lay on me um and I'm not feeling well because she just knows. But anyways, um, what was I saying? I was talking about editing. Oh, usually I try and edit at night. Um, I don't know if that's going to happen tonight or not. But Poppy and I are going to settle in and go night-night soon. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys so much. Don't forget to subscribe. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.